You need a haircut, huh? You can go get a haircut today? This is getting crazy. Actually, all three of you need one. Good morning. This morning, I am doing a bit of birthday gift shopping for the twins. Their birthday is in less than 20 days and their party is a little bit before their actual birthday. I've ordered a ton of gifts online. Well, not a ton. I ordered like two each online. I think three for Ruben, two for Asher, and then some I'm still waiting on ordering. But I have more for Ruben than for Asher. He's just easier to shop for. His interests have not changed. So I kind of want to look in store and see what they have that Asher might like. I got him some stuff already, but he's a little bit harder to shop for. So I'm going to look at Marshall's because they usually have like a wide variety of toys to even just look at and get some ideas from. I'm gonna see what they have. I also need to go to Ulta and I'm gonna look at the thrift store because they love the thrift store and they usually find some amazing treasures. But we're gonna start with Marshalls. Since it's right next to Five Below, I think I might go see if they have any like party decor too because they have a lot of Spidey and Pokemon. I literally had this in my Amazon cart, like the exact same one and I found it on clearance for three. So I'm getting Asher this 100%. He is so, so good at puzzles. This will give him more of a challenge and it's animals. It was not raining when I went in the store and then I came out and it's coming down. I'm wearing flip-flops so I'm back in the car. I ended up getting the puzzle. I'm literally so excited about this find because it was three dollars on clearance but it's brand new and Asher just loves puzzles so he'll love this. And then I found this on clearance which I am so excited about. I need a better angle so I can show you guys. I almost bought this on Amazon a couple of months ago but it's $79.99 on Amazon. I found it on clearance at, what is it, Marshalls? For $38, $38. Yes, I'm so excited. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this for Asher or save it for Christmas even maybe, but I think either way, they're gonna be so excited. This is like a Picasso tile marble run and it has LED marbles included, but they're not like the little tiny ones. They're a little bit bigger, so I don't have to worry about Faye. But this has 200 pieces. It is a huge, huge set and I literally almost bought this on Amazon like months ago it was $79.99 or $80 so I basically got it 50% off so I'm really excited I might keep this for Asher because one of the gifts I got Ruben is also Picasso tiles but it's different and that's why they kind of have their own thing but I'm so excited about this find this is amazing regardless I'm thinking I'll give this to Asher though because these are just the best Toys. If you don't have magnet tiles, they are seriously amazing. So I spent $45 on two gifts for Asher, so I feel like that is a win. I don't even think I need to go to the thrift store. If I go there next week and I find something that's just like a little extra, I'll do that. But I want to go to Five Below, but it's literally pouring now, and I don't want to get wet, but I might just kind of see what they have for decorations. It'd be fun to get them like some outdoorsy things, because their birthday is usually right when it starts to warm up. It's at the end of April. It's like right when spring is like really in its peak, right before summer. So maybe I'll get them like some soccer balls and stuff to go with their bigger gifts. I'm gonna brave it, but it's really coming down. So we're gonna go for it. Why, 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 why? Oh my God. They didn't have a lot of decor, but I did get the kids each a new sketchbook because they are completely filled, the ones that they have at home. So I got them each one new sketchbook, and then I also just grabbed this. These are so good if you haven't had them. I think they sell them much cheaper at like Costco, but they're so yummy. Now I'm gonna go to Ulta. I just need to grab something from like Elf. They have this new like blush contour thing that I wanted to try because I've been looking pale. Probably the hair, but it's, it's bad. Got everything I needed plus another thing. <laughs> now let's go home. Mom, is this one mine? Yep. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are needing one. A rectangle. A rectangle? I know what that is. <laughs> a rectangle coconut. Like. A coconut? Yeah, I got the mouth and two eyes. I see that. I don't see a coconut. And I'm showing this guy that. Something that drinks water. Something that drinks water. All right. An elephant. Oh, maybe an yeah. elephant? Yeah. Oh. It's like your favorite thing to draw right now. So cute. Oh, she's got a ponytail? Try to save our paper. That means don't color the whole book in one day, okay? Okay, I got just a couple of things, but I wanna show you because I need tips in the comments on how to do my makeup. I never learned, absolutely never learned. I still don't know what I'm doing, honestly. The only thing I typically do every morning is concealer under my eyes, cause dark circles. I do my eyebrows and mascara. I do blush most of the time too, but okay, first things first, I got this new under eye brush because the one I have is really small and I don't think it works very well. I got this one to help with concealer. This one I got for blending for the contour. Use this eyebrow stuff. I got this the same thing that I usually get but in a little bit of a darker color since I got my hair done. This is the contour. This is something I've never done before. I wanted to get like a cheap one just because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's see if I can show you. Woo, 
That was cool. And I think I did too much. Oh my God, I need to go to the cinema mirror. Okay, and then I got this highlighter because my best friend Kaylee, she does makeup, that's like her job. And she raves about this one, Charlotte Tilbury. It's like her favorite thing. She does makeup for like brides and stuff. And I tried it on my hand at the store and it was beautiful. It's the same type of applicator. This thing is ridiculously expensive. Oh God, am I doing it wrong? Oh, I'm just gonna use my fingers because I just used that other one for the contour. Really, really pretty and really glowy. And we're going into the warmer months. More serious talk. I need somewhere comfortable to sit. I wasn't gonna talk about this for a while because I didn't know if it was gonna happen. And now that I know the answer to that question, I can talk about it. I started the process for becoming a um, surrogate. And this is something that I hadn't thought about in the past, but a couple of months ago, I talked to Justin about how I just thought it would be someday a really cool experience to be able to be a surrogate for somebody. As someone who's gone through infertility and experienced like how hard that is, I just thought it would be a really cool opportunity to be able to give back to another couple who was struggling to conceive, who needed a surrogate. Been through pregnancy so many times, I know what to expect. I've carried twins, like my body has been through it, so I kind of just felt confident in going through with being a surrogate. So I found an agency and I started the medical process of finding out if I could be a surrogate. I went through all of the questionnaires, I filled out all of the paperwork, did everything, all of that, and then I had to schedule with my OB, get um, approved by the OB that I was okay to be a surrogate. I just thought the more that I got involved in it, the more that I was like, this is gonna be like a really great experience i was so excited to bring like joy to a couple who maybe was feeling lost or feeling like they couldn't go through it and i just had this thought in the back of my head that they might not approve me because of my prior stillbirth i was so prepared because i've been through ivf too and if you are a surrogate you essentially go through a lot of the stuff that you go through when you're you know going through ivf so all of the shots and all of the medications and everything that i've done before but i just found out last night they called me and they said that the like ivf clinic that they use to like approve their gestational carriers let them know that I am not medically approved to do it um, because of my prior loss with Britain, which is such a bummer because I went on to have successful pregnancies. Um, you know, I have four kids now after Bryn. I even had twins. I had a VBAC. I had a C-section. I had a vaginal birth. All of them went like perfectly. We didn't have any issues except for after Emma, I did hemorrhage a little bit. Other than that, like there was no issues with my pregnancy. I was considered high risk for the loss, but that was it. Um, and with the twins, obviously, because they were twins. <laughs> but everything else in my medical history was perfect. It was just this one part with Bryn that they couldn't which I, I understand because if I was looking for a surrogate and I, I don't know if I would pick somebody who had had a prior stillbirth and that sounds awful but I'm like would I want someone who had already gone through that like I don't think it increases the chances but at the same time like I'm putting myself in the shoes of someone who would be looking for somebody and I'm like I get it it's just it's a bummer and I feel like it makes me feel like there's something wrong with me for being that. And I know that that's just me telling myself like negative thoughts and it's totally understandable, but I am disappointed. I was really thinking it would be a really awesome experience to do this for a couple. And I wasn't gonna talk about it until way later down the line and I had gotten approved and we had matched with somebody and it had been like set in stone. I could eventually go to a different agency and try again because every agency has different guidelines and medical, all of this stuff. But for now, I think that this is just like a sign that like maybe I need to take a step back reassess and maybe think about it again in the future it's just like it felt like a good time because my body is still pretty young like I'm still only 29 so I feel like I'm in peak you know condition to do it but now that it is over I can talk about it now and maybe someday like I said maybe someday I'll go back and reassess but for now I'm just going to focus on the now who knows what the future holds anyways with all of that this is going to be the end of the vlog make sure you're following me on Instagram and on TikTok I've been posting a lot more on TikTok I'm going to be posting the boys like birthday gift video there and then I'm going to figure out how I want to plan and party the boys birthdays soon so that's coming up very very soon i cannot wait i want to show like the prep and the process and all of that so i'll figure out how i'm gonna do that and i will talk to you guys very very soon about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see